What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to another video. I'm having one of those days, you know, when you're kind of just a little bit late for no apparent reason everywhere. So I decided to start this video with you guys already as POV on my head um, because it's uh, saving me a little bit of time. But yeah, here we are, we're in the Scud and we are actually just leaving saint -Tropez town and I'm getting a phone call. Bear with me. All right, my bad, right. What are we doing today? So I posted on my Instagram uh, a few weeks ago uh, a construction site, a house that was being built and um, yeah, I spoke about this as, as a new project that I was involved in and ever since I've been getting loads of questions, show us more about this project. I at first thought that it wasn't necessarily something that would particularly interest you guys. Oh, we've got an ambulance coming by. Is he gonna be, yes, he's fine. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was something which would particularly interest you guys or not but seeing on instagram it seems like you guys would like to see a little bit more of it so today i'm going to show you a little bit of where the house is today um what the the changes have been you've probably seen overlays of what was going on uh, in the construction uh, a few weeks ago it's come along really nicely so this is a project with a business partner from here and you know i'm always i'm really excited because i'm you know i love finding new ways to diversify and uh new new kind of, uh, yeah, plans to work on and uh, new ideas. So this is completely new for me. Um, it's really exciting. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys the talk. The house is gonna be um, up for rental. So the idea is, you know, it's a house which is right on the entrance of Saint Tropez. Um, this is really close to Monaco. Uh, I need to try and turn around somewhere here. Can I turn somewhere here? Doesn't look easy. We're driving valves closed, by the way. Completely new type of project for me. I really enjoy, um, yeah, finding new ways to diversify myself and trying out new things and a new challenge every now and then. So this is definitely that. You know, I've, I'm not going in alone. I've obviously partnered up with uh, with someone local who's got a lot more experience than me in this. And uh, yeah, it's super fun. I mean, the idea is the house is literally a couple minute drive when you don't have that traffic jam from Saint Tropez, the center of Saint Tropez. So it's super convenient for the summer. You know, it, it's only about an hour and a half from Monaco as well, or an hour and 15 minutes really, to be honest, from Monaco. So even during winter, you can easily go from Monaco to this house. And with this house is gonna be up for, um, for rental. So I'm gonna show you around, and then I'll explain to you links where you can get more information or anything like that. So uh, yeah, we're basically there. Okay, right, we've made it to the house now, and here is, Fab, there you are. Hello team. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to the channel. This is your first time on the channel, but you'll probably be here a bunch more. It is indeed, hello. yes. And then, so there's gonna be, by the way, a bunch of people working around the house because it's an active uh, work site, yep, isn't it? it is. So it's still going Continuously. on. Continuously. Continuously, non-stop. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to show you the house now because I saw the return on Instagram, which was pretty nuts. Yeah, everyone was, uh, yeah, yeah. everyone was super excited about it, as are we. And uh, I thought, you know, might as well show it to you before it's finished so we can kind of do a before and after. So. Bear in mind that this is far from finished, so it needs a proper cleanup, but it's just to give you an idea of what's coming. And uh, yeah, so it, it doesn't, I mean, it kind of looks like a work site still, kind a, of. A dirty, dirty work. Yeah, but eventually it'll look cool. Now, we've closed the gate, just for privacy reasons mainly, and this is where you will drive in. This is where the driveway will start. So I'm gonna walk you through all the different plans, but you're gonna need to use your imagination a little bit. So, first of all, all of this will be completely planted up, looking all lovely, as well as there, right? We should be getting those soon yep, as well. next week, uh, 25 bamboo arrives. Yeah, there you go. All the bamboos are arriving right there. And then here, on the right, is going to be the driveway, which is what I... I mean, Fab's a big fan of cars as well, but maybe not quite as much as I am, so I've pushed a lot so that we can get the driveway. You're convincing me. Yeah, <laughs> so we're going to have the driveway here, separated with a little hedge. Again, as I'm saying, use your imagination. A garden, a massive garden here, which goes all the way to the other side of the house. Quick few stats, we're going to show you through the inside and everything, but we're talking a five bedroom house in there. And we are literally minutes away from Saint Tropez. We're at the entrance. We're right? at the entrance, so uh, you're right next to the beach as well. So a perfect kind of rental house, and it should be, fingers crossed, in about a month, we should be good to go. So I'm looking at Fab, like, yeah. you agree? This is, yeah, this no, is what no, no, no. we're both pushing these guys for. Um, but a month we should be good to go and uh, I also want you guys to be involved with all sorts of different projects that uh, I'll get involved in I love getting you guys involved so anything you see around here I'm gonna create an email which I'm gonna put on the screen right now and you can send any ideas you have for the house like why don't you guys put this there da 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 and then also 
on that email if you're interested in booking the house because we've actually already had people booking it sure. in advance and, it, and before the house is even finished we're getting booked up for summer if you're interested in renting the house you can just send an email with your date to that email as well anyways as you can tell there is a pool here and this pool Annoyingly, we've been waiting for the tiles for ages. That, yeah, uh, over a month now. Over a month we've been waiting for the tiles, but we should, fingers crossed, get them next week. But uh, beautiful. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is the, is the I aim. I will be updating you. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, so this is the pool. Um, really nice. We're also going to have it uh, so that it can change colors. So if ever you're here and you're having a little bit of a party or whatever it may be, you've got a cool little animation in the middle there. This is all going to be grass. So it's all going to be completely leveled. 30 tons, right, coming in? Yeah. 30 tons of this stuff coming in. Um, and it's all going to be completely leveled. Green grass right there. We've got all the bamboo as well. And the concept was making this kind of a, a refuge so close to town, but so relaxing as well. So you're kind of in your own little slice of paradise right next to the center of one of the most booming towns uh, there is. So yes, here's the pool. Where should we go? Should we go? Let's go, let's go this way yeah, first. Sure. Yeah. So, as you can tell, all of this was dug. Uh, this pool wasn't here before, so we thought it was a, an important one to, to have a pool here. You can't be in the south. And, and it's in pool. the sun all day long. Yes. On a sunny day, apart from today. Yeah, today it's not the nicest day ever. Also, little details, like things like the palm trees. I mean, I don't even know if you guys all notice, notice this stuff, but Fab and I. <laughs> Fab and I are noticing all the little things, but the palm trees are going to be cut up as well. And then, uh, yeah, so the plants, the bamboos will continue. All of the, the details you'll see around you are going to be cleaned up. For example, all these tiles, as you can tell, it's a work site, so it's all pretty dirty. But this is all going to be cleaned up, put like new. And, uh, and yeah. So here, again, big, uh, big garden. This is accessible from the downstairs bedrooms, which uh, we'll show you in a bit. Yeah, so there's three downstairs bedrooms just yep. here opposite. So yep. they've got direct access to the gardens yep. and the pool. Yeah, that's so cool. So if you're in your room there, you can just come out and go straight to the pool. You've got this little area where we're thinking, we can't quite decide if we want a ping pong table here or in another area up there. Or a fire we'll pit. Or a fire pit, exactly. Um, fire pit's the more expensive option, <laughs> yeah. but very cool. Anyways, um, yeah, this is a, just a really nice area and you have a beautiful view right here. Look at that. Yeah, this is kind of the piece de resistance. You've got, so you can see the sea, you can see Port Grimaud right there. You can see all the way into the mountains and even a, a fun fair, which a lot of you will know as you're driving into Saint-Tropez, you drive past that fun fair. So prime location. Fab's got a lot more experience than I do in this. So this is my first project of this type, which I've uh, been lucky to many. be brought into. Yes, yes, hopefully the first of many. Um, right, shall we go? Let's go up. Yeah, let's go up to the rest of the garden. So we'll do the outside of the house first. This right here is, um, this is going to be like a toys cabinet. Sure. Summer toys, bikes, yeah. snowboards, kayaks. Exactly. That, that's the toy room. Anything for the pool as well or your blow up, um, you know, whatever you may have for the pool. All of that goes into the toys room. Um, so the idea is that you can really just come here, you can go straight down to the beach, you can take your bike, you can cycle into town, you can do all that stuff. All of these tiles we've just redone as well. Uh, this is all going to be cleaned up, the, the railing. Oh, show the view, yeah, we can show the view from up here. We'll show you inside here in a little bit. So they have Gassau Village just over there. Yep. Um, you have Grimo Village just opposite. Exactly. And then here, as you mentioned, the entrance of uh, Port Grimo, uh, Marine de Gassau, and uh, yeah, the Gulf of Saint-Tropez. Yeah, and you're, you're so close to Monaco as well, so I know a lot of people watching this know Monaco quite well, but yes, yes an yeah. hour and 20 minutes from Monaco. An hour and a half, an hour and 20 yeah. minutes, depending. So here we've got a nice little balcony. You'll notice that big windows everywhere, which can all slide open, so you can have the house completely open. Really nice view from up here. So again, use your imagination when that pool will be filled and lighting in different colors and stuff like that. And this is all grass with a nice driveway with a few supercars, of course. Can't wait. Yeah, then we'll, um, that will be all done up. This has all been done recently. So um, full tiling. This, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite spaces. Sauna area? Yeah, let's show the sauna area. So sauna area, this is cool, little pond. This is where they're actually really gonna to need to use their imagination. Sure. So this is going to be, we were just discussing this a second ago before I started filming. It's either gonna be a sauna or a steam room, steam room kind of setup, and it's gonna be stuck against the wall here with a little passageway. So previously, this was a sauna which took up the whole thing. 
Uh, but we thought it would be cool to have a little passageway to what we'll show you now. But yeah, this is going to be like a little... Um, so just picture, imagine you're in a sauna right here and then you have a view of this beautiful little pond that you can walk through. The idea, as I say, villas and gardens uh, is for it to be your, your own little refuge of paradise. So you come through here. Again, we'll show you in a bit. This is the master bedroom. So uh, yeah, you come out of your master bedroom and this is a private terrace. Yeah, or breakfast area because there's yeah. the main ensuite just there on the right. Yeah. So with the direct access to the sauna and the breakfast area. So. Or it could be for apéro or... Yeah, exactly. Well, the idea is, you know, there'll probably be a lot of families staying here, renting. Um, and so, for example, if you're, if the adults want to come up and, and have a little drink while the kids sure. are a, downstairs. A getaway. A getaway, yeah. Or if the parents want to, um, uh, want to be able to have their breakfast here, whatever it may be. Shall we go up this way? Sure. Let's go up this way. The adventure route. Yeah, the adventure route. So, again, use your imaginations here. This has just been built, this wall. You can see they're still working on it. Right here is, well, we can't quite decide here, but it's going to be kind of, as you can tell, all leveled down. And this can be a ping pong area, more garden space, uh, pétanque. Uh, how do you say pétanque in French? In uh, French, it's pétanque. In, in, sorry, in English, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, anyways, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really, it's a, it's a very they local don't thing. They don't pétanque in English. No, they don't, do they? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is just, a, again, more garden area. So as you can tell, this wall has helped level it all out. So this was all dead space before. So making that usable space. Under here, this is all going to be grass again. You're above the sauna, above the terrace, behind the house. Roof has been completely redone. You got your little pond as well. So you come through here. This is all grass, 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 grass. Again, all cleaned up. So yeah, they need to bear with us a little bit. Um, we come back here. So this is the terrace. This is, we didn't speak about it too much, but this is going to be one of my favorite spaces. Barbecue. Sure. little outdoor kitchenette type thing there with the sink. Oh sure, this is where you'll spend summer mainly. Yeah, exactly, because yeah. you've got the view all the way down towards Pogley Moor. And through the house as well. And through the house, you can see through the window. And uh, yes, yeah, so a nice little sitting area, sofa, outdoor kind of um, living space. This is going to be one of the most used spaces in the house. Oh, for sure. And it's got direct access to one of my favorite spaces. So you come through here, beautiful um, uh, wooden fencing right here. So this is going to really be, once you know everything's all done up, it's going to be like a passageway. Um, completely closed off. Exactly. And all grass still. And you come up to the hot tub, which they saw in the Instagram stories, had to get craned in. That was quite a mission. But uh, it's here now, and it's all going to be leveled out. So all of this will be leveled out so that when you're in the hot tub, you get that view right there of the pool, of the driveway, and all the way down to the port. This is this is one of the coolest spots. Oh sure, sure. Actually, I take it back. This is where you'd spend summer. Yeah, there. that's true. <laughs> that's true. And you know, even just now being here, I know, Fab. What do you think of putting a little seating area here as well? Sure. Well, so, when, when we hit where you are there, yeah, that's true. There's a wooden staircase, so we've yep. got all. Well, we've got this area either for yeah, uh, deck chairs or table and chairs. Exactly. So then, if anyone's around and there's no more space in the hot tub or whatever it may be, although we got basically the biggest hot tub. Well, we try. Yeah, we try. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so super cool. This is a this is a cool spot. Right. Shall we do the inside? Sure. So you come back down here, past your terrace. Probably the barbecue going on here. You got all of your food and drinks going on there. And you come in. This is the main entrance of the house. So this is where you're really going to need to use your imagination because it is still really being worked on. But little things like this door was not here before. Yeah, that, that's the new bedroom. Yeah. So this is, uh, well, I'm not going to touch it now. So you it doesn't have a handle. Yeah, exactly. But so this is a little entrance area. Um, and then you come into the main living area. Um, so super nice, super, super nice because you've got massive windows. You've got access. So all of this slides open and uh, you can see the, um, the garden underneath. You've got the terrace. You can see the pool down here. So again, once that's all done up, it's going to be beautiful. Um, and yeah, so main living area, dining area, so you can have it in different configurations. You can have the dining area near the window, or the living area there. Oh, what would they do? Yeah. Would they have the lounge here, dining here, or vice versa? Yeah, this has been a big discussion. We can't quite decide. Knowing that you've got a kitchen here. Yeah, so then you come through the kitchen. Look, little things like here, because we really wanted it to be um, 
but yeah, just top notch basically the house. So every little details, this all looked a little bit worn, a bit of wear and tear on this. So it's all been completely uh, kind of replastered, redone. It's gonna be repainted. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, the house will be brand new. So the people who stay here will have a, a completely brand new house. Kitchen, really nice. So again, this is all uh, pretty dirty now, but it's all gonna be cleaned up properly. Um, but yeah, comprehensive kitchen. Fab is a great cook. Yeah. Well, I like my food. There's you like your food. So we've got a plancha, which uh, you're very proud of. I am indeed. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, so really, if you like cooking, it's a super complete kitchen. You got you got everything you need, um, and you've even got the nice view as well out of the window. Um, it's a really nice kitchen. A bit, a bit of scaffolding in the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is down to the bottom floor, but first let's go. This is the uh, yeah master bedroom uh, right here. So you've got what here would be known in boating world as the day heads. This is like the uh, where guests who are who come over for dinner, or whatever, have access to a bathroom, but it's not one that's necessarily linked. So um, so this is nice. Uh, again, it's going to be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, this is the main yeah so master bedroom. Um, really nice big room. Uh, and obviously you've got access out here. Do you know if this is unlocked? No, it's yeah, locked, yeah. Uh, you've got access to the sauna which is there and that terrace we showed you earlier, which is on this side. This is um, really cool, I think, for anyone uh, with the family. So the idea here, this is your idea, Fab, which I think is a genius idea. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, That's it's good. basically to be able to have a, a, a bedroom which is also linked to the what will probably be where the parents are. Like so if you have a hotel door. Yeah. Either have direct access or close it, and you've got the independent access there. Exactly, so, exactly. So it's like in a hotel. Available. Yeah, and if you want it completely open and you just make the room much bigger, you can do that. But if you've got young kids and you want them to be right next to you, you can have direct access to to their bedroom. Uh, so that's nice. All of the rooms have just been fitted with uh, brand new air conditioning units because uh, it gets quite warm here. This is the ensuite. Uh, so again, all will be cleaned up. So. We're gonna change things like the shower heads, all of that stuff, but this is the, the shower, there's a bath, uh, bathroom as well, but all of this still needs uh, quite a bit of work, but this is, yeah, this is all gonna come last. We're finishing the outside and then- Place, a, place your beds. Yeah, exactly. Big TV here as well. Trust me, I'm, I'm ordering the TVs, it's gonna be badass. Um, right, that's the, that's the master bedroom. Uh, so we come back around here, this is where you can, so for example, if this is a separate room used for kids that don't want to be linked to the parents, you close that other door there and they can use um, the, the little bathroom. You come downstairs, this is where all the other rooms are. Um, so you come down to, let's start with this room, bedroom number three now, uh, really nice sized bedroom, good closet space. Beautiful ensuite. Uh, so this is nice. You got a little toilet. You got your shower. So this room is completely independent. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, it's also directly uh, linked onto the garden. So you can just leave this open, come in and out. And if there is a fire pit there, um, it will be able to just come in and out and spend time here. So super nice. Uh, we've got this, which is a much bigger, more comprehensive bathroom. And this is the bathroom for the next two bedrooms, which I'm gonna show you. So they both use that bathroom over there. You got room number four, really nice size. Obviously, uh, you've got all this stuff in the middle, but this is a big room, again with the aircon, again with the access to the garden, which you have there. So there'll be a little seating area potentially there as well. Um, so yes. And then this is actually one of my favorite rooms. Okay, sorry, I was just chatting around with uh, with these guys, but um, yeah, aircon again in this room, and it's a really nice long bedroom. This, so uh, I think we're gonna put the bed down this end, and then what's pretty cool, they're just chatting, but I'll show you, is you have direct access through here straight to the pool. Look at that! So, you, when that will all be completely linked up, you'll have the grass there and direct access to the pool through these big, big windows. So, yeah. No, I'm really pleased with uh, with how this is coming along. Fan, I'm just gonna go back upstairs, show them. Are oh, you coming with me? I was just saying that I think this is one of my favorite. Well, I think this is actually. I mean, the the master bedroom is obviously really cool, but this is oh, yeah, my no, favorite room. It's all room. about the access, I'm sure. Yeah, so. this right here, you got the toys which will be hidden in in here, and you come out and you got the pool straight away. So, so what are you gonna replace that with, sir? Yes. Well, I mean, the Ferrari will will be in here, 
probably the Porsche as well. But uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm so excited. I've learnt uh, a lot. It's been a it's been a cool process, is, kind of yeah. coming along We're on this. Having a good time, having a and, uh, and yeah, I mean, so the plan is July, second week of July, around there. Um, will be opening up for for rentals. So, yeah, it will be it will be open for uh, for a while. So, I think we've already got quite a few bookings uh, coming in. We need to check the schedule. But, anyways, let us know if you're interested, and um, and we'll be able to to share all the information with you. But let me know what you think. Let me know your ideas. Let me know Villa Zen Gardens. Do we call it? Uh, I don't know, uh, YouTube or supercar or the supercar spotter house. I don't know, what do we call it? Um, and uh, once we've decided on that and the work keeps going, I will do one, one more update maybe before it's finished and then a finished video. And uh, so yeah, it'll be super cool, but Fab, Thank you, first of all, for uh, letting me get involved uh, uh, with Absolute this. Absolute pleasure. We've and um, yeah, it's been really good fun and I can't wait to, to, to work on more projects together. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video as always and all the information will be down below. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.